All right, welcome back. I really, really, I'm really proud of you if you made it to section five. This is unbelievable, right? I got a lot of lectures here, and if you made it to section five, you have learned a lot. And if you haven't, contact me as soon as possible. We need to talk, all right? But anyway, let's go ahead and let's do section five. We're going to go here to um, practical app, and 5.php is the page. So what is asking for us to do, all right? We got to use a preview math function and do anything here. Here and echo it. We're going to echo it. Uh, look at that. We're just going to echo. And we use a, another string function here. We echo it. And we use a preview array function and echo it. Pretty cool, right? You learn about preview functions. Go ahead and use that. And if you need to go back to the lecture, go ahead and do that before you come here, right? Pause the video and go ahead and do it. All right. So if you pause the video, if you have not, don't cheat, all right? But if you have paused the video, then uh, you were able to do this or not. But I'm going to help you out, just in case you have not. But um, this is going to be really simple. The first one is going to be a math function. Let's just do an echo on that. How about that? Let's just use a rand function to say, you know what? I want you to give me a rounded number from 1 to 1,000. How about that? You remember that function, right? All right. So we're going to come here to the practice 5 and we got some, if we keep refreshing, we keep getting different numbers. Oh, we got 1. Look at that. That's odd. Press here. Look at that. Different numbers every time I refresh. All right. So we got the math part done. That was easy, right? And let's use a string function. All right. So the string, what can we do with strings? All right. So let's create a variable with a string because... I could do that. In, I could do this in the echo if I wanted to, but I want you to see it like this. And let's just create some random strings here. I'm gonna type so fast you've never seen this before. Look at that. Huh? Wasn't that fast? That's how I usually type. I'm just typing slow for you guys. Seriously. Well, and ladies. Every time I say guys, I mean ladies. All right. So and guys, of course. Let's do a new variable here called value length. This is just gonna be the length here. Uh, hopefully I'm typing this right but anyway it doesn't really matter it's just a variable it's gonna hold the function str len l well str l e n remember this is a function so we have the parentheses and then semicolon and what do we need to put here what do we need to find out the length of what the string right so that's why we use a variable it's a lot easier than typing this whole thing and putting this whole thing in there right and it's cleaner too so we're going to do that, and then we're holding this in a variable here because that way we can do all the things with it, right? Super simple to do that. All right, and I'm just going to echo this. I'd like to separate it here so that way you can see what I'm doing. And I just put a BR tag here. Actually, I should have put a BR tag here, right? But that's fine. You, uh, you will be able to see it there. Let's, let's just put something here. Right. I wish PHP would do this automatically for me, but I guess it doesn't do it. You know, like a BR tag or... But anyway, and I will put a BR tag for the next one here just in case. So let's echo this value. And as you can see here, we have value 26 characters in here. So if I start counting, I'm going to get to 26. All right, if I put one more, save it and come back here, refresh. We got 27, and this is changing automatically. That's awesome, right? So... The next one, pre-built array function. Ooh, this is going to be a hard one, right? An array function? How in the world am I going to do that? Tick-tock, tick-tock. All right. Come on, guys. Talking to the expert here. So let's go ahead and do a array. So what I want to do is I'm going to use an, an array function called in array. We're going to find something inside an array. I don't know if I did that on the lecture. I probably did. But we're going to set here a variable that I want to find. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm feeling creative. You know what? We are going to insert this string of full of characters inside our, our, our array. I said it correctly there. All right. So all we have to do now is just create an array called, I don't know, what do you want to create? Uh, call this array? Uh, numbers or values? It's just... Name and values. Let's not be that creative today, right? 
All right, and let's just create a let's create a new array. Why are we creating old ones? Let's create this one, and we're gonna put some values in here. I'm gonna put some strings and some numbers and some more strings and some more numbers. And here I'm gonna put this string variable here. I just want to show you that an array takes anything, anything. All right. So now that we made our our, our, our array, now we need to use the function to find out if we found something, right? So how we do this? All right. So we first use the in array function. You see, my coed is already highlighting this. Pretty cool, right? And then what do we want to find? Well. The first thing that we need to do is actually tell it what we are finding, right? So what is it that we're finding? We're finding string right here. That's what we need to find, string. Or we could just do done it from here. It really didn't matter. And the next thing is where we are going to be finding this. We're going to be finding in the values array. Perfect. So now this function has that. It found it somewhere, right? We found it. So how are we going to be using this to display it? All right, so first of all, we are going to be, you know what? I'm just going to make a variable here called name. All right, and look what I'm going to use because I want you to be creative like this. All right, if found, remember that this, the if statement will bring me true or false. This will bring me true or false. So if true, then I'm going to echo something out, right? So if we find it, then we're going to say, wow, man, wow. Wow, we did it together. That sounded cheesy there. Sorry, guys. We did it together, actually. I said it too fast. All right. Else. All right, we say something like we messed up. We messed up. We could not find it. I get into character, guys. Sorry. Could not find it. There we go. All right. I think we're good here. We don't get any PHP errors here. And we got a BR tag there. So let's see that. Refresh. Oh, wow. We found it. Let's see if for some reason we um, don't find this. So what do we do? Right? If we if it doesn't find this value, let's take it out. Let's take out this value and let's see what happens. Oops. Let's take it out. Refresh. We messed up. We could not find uh I missed a we cannot find it. There we go. Refresh. We messed up, we could not find it. So hopefully this lecture here well gave you some really good idea on what you can do. All right, and how you can you know be a little creative and use some of the things that I showed you already, and you know improvise. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you on the next section. Take care.